Good morning. I am Mojo, Morris Jones, and we're going to talk some more defense this morning. Uh, now, the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about third hand play. Uh, this morning, I'm going to talk, I'm going to transition to second hand play, and we'll do that for a couple of weeks. Um, we've all probably heard the, the, the saying, second hand low goes with third hand high. Uh, let's look at an example, and I want to show you how this works. Uh, let me see. I'm going to move everybody to west. Good. Um, let's say that Declare leads the two, of, uh, the two of hearts, and this is your holding. You've got the ace-10-4. First of all, what I want you to see is what happens if we decide to play the ace. Here's, I'll just show all the cards. So if we play the ace right now, uh, notice that Declarer now has two winners. They've got the king and the dummy, and they've got the queen in their hand. So that doesn't help. I mean, we're giving uh, Declarer two tricks. They're only entitled to one. Let's go back and, and look at that again. Uh, now, you might think that if this is your holding, you really should play you've got to put in some effort at least. Uh, what if we play the 10? The thing, the thing about secondhand play is that you're not the last one from your side to play to the trick. Your partner is. And your partner is in a position where they can use their cards often. Suppose we play the 10. Well, now uh, Declarer plays the king uh, and it wins a trick. Notice how if Declarer leads back towards their hand, they now have partner's jack. This jack here is now trapped between the queen and the nine. If partner plays low, uh, Declarer has the luxury of just putting in the nine and driving out your ace. And once again, Declarer wins two tricks. And that's not what we have in mind. Let's set this back again. And let's say that uh, Declarer leads the two. The right card for us to play is second hand low. Just smoothly put in a little card. Uh, and now we can see what happens. Declarer wins a trick with the king. But he doesn't get any more. He only gets one trick. Uh, if uh, Declarer leads low from the dummy, partner can play low. And now notice here you've got Declarer has the queen and the nine, and you have the ace and the ten. You have both cards sitting on top of his cards. If he plays the nine, you win the ten. If he plays the queen, you win the ace and the ten. So instead of getting two tricks, Declarer has only gotten one. And it's all because you started out playing secondhand low. Let's change the arrangement of the cards uh, a little bit just to see how it how it still might apply. Now, in this case, I'm moving the king out of the dummy, and now the dummy only has the jack. So when Declarer plays a low card from their hand, and it's your turn to play, you may think uh, you need to put in the 10 again, but you don't. And, and in fact, uh, you'll see that. Uh, let's see how let's show all the cards and show how that works. Notice this time your partner has the king and you have the ace and the 10. So let's carry on that, uh, that, that action. And let's say you play low and uh, Declarer wins the jack. Now your partner gets to take the trick with the king. If they lead back, once again, you have the ace and the 10 sitting on top of Declarer's queen and nine. Declarer, in this case, gets no tricks in the suit. <laughs> Pardon me. I had to mute Edna and Chris. Um, so... Uh, in this case, let's let's say that you don't play low. Let's say that uh, when Declare leads the two, you you think once again, well, okay, I can't play the the ace, but what if I play the ten? Well, let's see what happens then. Okay, Declare plays the jack from the dummy, and your partner wins the king, and that's all nice. But now Declare's queen and nine, you no longer have the ten to cover the nine. And uh, let's say if your partner leads the suit back. The nine will drive out your ace. And now declare once again, they get one trick with the queen that they weren't entitled to. And in other words, they got one trick when they could have gotten zero. Uh, okay, now if you'd like to try um, testing yourself a little bit with this, let's see if you can pick the right card. You can pull out your annotation tool and let's say declare leads the two from his hand towards the dummy. You're holding the king, the eight, and the four. And yeah, you know, it looks like you might want to put in the eight to force the queen, but you really don't have to. Okay, we're all picking the four. That's good. Let's look at all of the cards and see how this might happen. In fact, if you put in the eight, it really does no good at all. Uh, your partner has the ace. 
and you have the king and the eight sitting on top of uh, the remaining cards in Declarer's hand. So that works out really well. Um, clear all the drawings. If we if we uh, if we play low. Well, if we play high, you can see that that uh, that automatically sets up at least one trick for declarer. He can now use his queen jack to promote one trick. He can drive out your ace. So playing playing the king is clearly wrong. Um, let's look at another one. And let's say that uh, declarer leads the two from the dummy. Now, um, did the two from their hand towards the dummy, you're holding the king, the eight, and the four. Look over here in the dummy. There's the ace, the queen, and the jack. Now, this is clearly a working finesse. Uh, and if we play the king, it's going to be covered by the ace, and then declarer will win the queen and the jack. They get all three tricks. Is there any point in playing low? If we look at the rest of the cards, we'll see that there is. In this case, our partner has all of the hearts. Declare is leading a singleton heart. So what's the difference between playing the king and playing a little card? If we play the king, Declare gets three tricks, right? If we play the king, the ace wins and then the queen and the jack wins. What happens if we don't? Uh, if we play low and Declare takes the winning finesse and it works, now that's, that's great for Declare, but in order to enjoy three tricks, he has to find a way to get back to his hand and lead another heart through your king. He has to hook your king a second time. Well, he has no second heart. And uh, by not playing your king on the first trick, you, you uh, allow Declare to have a problem. They have to cross back to their hand. They have a way back to their hand. They can play the two of spades back to their hand, but they don't have another heart to lead and take that finesse again. So they can take the, the, a jack and the ace. They get two tricks, but they don't get three. So playing low still applies. Let's try this again. This time we're, we're in the spades. Declare leads the two. What's the card for you to play? Go ahead and annotate the one if you, if you like. All right, we're going to play low. Very cool. OK, let's stop with that. I'm going to, um, let's count the tricks. If we play low, how many tricks does Declare get? They get the ace, and now they get no more. They're they always entitled to the ace, of course. If they lead the jack, I mean, if they lead the 10, partner can cover with the jack. You can win the eight. Well, okay, the nine is high. Um, you know what's wrong there is that, uh, partner doesn't cover then you can win ah, you can win the king declare gets two tricks but if you were to play high declare would get three and it, it would go like this if you played high in this case declare would get three tricks um and how does that work declare now has a, a working finesse on the ten of against the ten of spades so uh, they can lead the 10 and trap your partner's jack. So playing low, Declarer gets two tricks. Playing high, Declarer gets three. Um, and let's switch to the other side of the table. Let's say that we're sitting in the other seat in east, and the dummy now is on our right instead of being on our left. What do we play when Declarer calls for a low card from the dummy? Um, the second hand low still applies. Let's look at all the cards and see what's going on here. This is kind of interesting because if we play second hand high, the king, notice that Declare now wins all the tricks in the suit. And that, that was kind of an accident because now when they play the queen, notice that your partner's jack falls under the queen and Declare gets all the rest of the diamonds. Now, does it make any difference if you play second hand low here? It really does. If a declarer calls for a low card from the dummy and we play the five, now declarer, ha uh, declarer has a guess. Should I put in the 10? Should I play the queen and take the finesse? Or should I just play my ace? Um, he may be hoping for uh, three tricks in the suit and he may take a double finesse against the king and the jack. And if he plays the 10, then your partner's jack is going to win a trick. Uh, now, Declare has a working finesse for the remaining tricks. 
uh, if it comes around this way, we can play the nine and declare gets the ace and that. But we got one trick, whereas if we went high, we got zero tricks. Um, it's go always good to leave declare with a bit of a uh, of of a of a problem of a guess if you can. Uh, here's the same instance. I want you to watch what happens now if we play second hand high. It looks like we need to play the king, and so declarer wins the trick with the ace. And then what happens? Our partner's queen falls singleton. What happened here? Let's look at this at looking at all the cards. If declarer calls for a low card from the dummy, and we play second hand, if we play second hand high. You can see what's going to happen. Our partner's queen is going to fall because it's a singleton. Now, that was really unlucky, uh, but you have to be on guard for the possibility that that could be the case. So what we have to do is we have to play second hand low. Let partner's queen win the trick because Declare was, was planning to do a double finesse with his ace jack 10 in this hand. Uh, and now when Declare leads the suit again, they have a working finesse. But your nine could cause a problem. And, um, uh, and in this case, we got one trick. Whereas if I played second hand high, we get zero tricks. OK, um, here's one more example. Again, declare calls for a low card from the dummy. We're, we're looking at the ace, the nine, and the five. Let's look and see what the rest of the tricks are. By now, we're kind of programmed. We know to play second hand low. Um, why is it correct in this case? If we were to play the high, the, the ace, play high, the ace, declare now they've got a free ride. They can play low and their king will win a trick later on. But if they play low, they still have a chance to, to guess correctly. They could play the king and it will win the trick. But they have to guess right. They have to guess that the ace is in this hand, the queen is in this hand. Um, king jack situations are special when it's just the king and the jack by themselves because. Uh, they could guess wrong and decide to play the jack in this case. Well, in this, right, in this case, your partner will win with the queen. And now your ace can take the king and declare gets no tricks in the suit. But if you, but if you play second hand high instead of uh, low, then you solve all of the problems for declare. You know, the times you don't do that is when it's the setting trick and you need to, you need to take it. Uh, here's one more situation that looks kind of interesting. It's, it looks the same to you, and we know to play second hand low, and what's going to happen now here? Declare can win a trick with the king. They have a working finesse against your ace. They can hook your ace, and they can repeat it, and they will always get two tricks, the king and the queen. It's just how the cards are placed. If you had played high instead of the ace, I mean, instead of low, now declare can play low, and they've gotten two tricks in the suit, the king and the queen. Why does it make any difference? It makes a difference because in order to enjoy both tricks in the suit, declare has a problem. He has to be able to lead from this side again and hook your ace. He has to come around through your ace. And maybe he doesn't have an easy way to get to the dummy a second time and repeat the finesse. If that's true, then all he gets is one trick because he cannot lead diamonds from this hand. If he leads his four of diamonds at this point, your partner's 10 can win the trick. If he leads his king of diamonds at this point, your ace will win the trick and then your partner's jack will win the trick. So leave declarer with a problem so he can't get to it. Let's do, uh, let's do one, uh, one example from this one. Choose a card to play if you would. Use your annotations and pick a card. You have the queen nine five. All right, we're all pretty well programmed. Now, why does this make a difference here? I'm looking at the cards in Declare's hand. They've got a working finesse against your queen. But in order to take all of the tricks in the suit, they're going to have to cross back to the dummy and repeat the finesse. And that may be a difficult thing for them to do, for him to do. Let's try one more. Declare plays the two from the dummy. I think we know what the right card to play is. Let's see why it works. Yes, exactly. Your partner has the ace and the 10 surrounding this king. So if Declare plays, say, the seven, your partner's 10 will win. If they play the king, your partner's ace will win. And your queen is still sitting here on top of the jack in the, in the dummy. So that's a really good situation. Last one for this morning. 
Declare plays the two from the dummy. And now we can see the ace right there. It might look correct to play your queen, but clearly it's not. Uh, our partner's king is going to win the first trick. And yes, and what's nice is that uh, we might be able, if your partner's king wins the trick, then our queen will still be behind the ace and we can win two tricks in the suit. Whereas if we play the queen, your partner's king is going to get swallowed up by declarer's king, ace in the dummy, rather, the ace. Okay, that's it for this morning, secondhand play. Um, and yes. Um, next week, we'll talk about when declarer doesn't lead a little card, when they lead a high card. Uh, and we'll look at some of the exceptions to secondhand low. You knew there had to be exceptions, right? It's, it's always like that. Okay, good luck in the games today. I hope you play, and thanks very much for coming out this morning.